Hi all and welcome to a Diablo 4 review video. This is on the Barbarian class. I've only got to level 20. There's less than 24 hours to go in my time zone before the end of the closed beta. And I want to do a story mode one where I can sit, listen to all the story. I don't have to cut any, uh, skip any cutscenes. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I'll start that tonight. It is currently 1900 hours GMT. Um, so I'm going to start that tonight and I'll finish that off tomorrow before the end of the closed beta and then I'll go do a overall thoughts video just before the closed beta finishes. I've been having going through the barb, um, got through, as I said, got to level 20. I've, pre I've done all the quests. Um, on this particular character, I just did the mainline quest, first of all. Didn't do any side quests, didn't do any dungeons. That got me to level 14. Um, after that, I then went and done all the side quests I could do, I could find and do. I've done a few dungeons. And at this point, I feel I've really got to the end of the barb. And without being able to do the main barbarian quest to unlock the skill, because it's in the out of bounds area for this closed beta, um, uh, there's, there's, I can't do it. So I feel uh, as though that's the end of the journey for my barbarian character. And uh, also, I won't be doing the sorcerer because I just don't like it. So, see my sorcerer video. Anyway, let's get back onto the barb. Let's go through the skills. I started off following the leveling guide that Max Roll have done. Got to level 14 and a half. Did a complete respec. Cost me about 200 gold. Respect every single point because I really wasn't enjoying it. Went through and had a look at all the skills myself and kind of planned out a rough route. So, and this is what we've ended up with. If I remember the button, there is A. I've got a load of uh, gear on me, so I've got lots of buffs for various different skills. Um, so I went with one rank in Frenzy, and then Enhanced Frenzy, and Combat Frenzy. Now, it doesn't give as much fury generated as Flay, but there's a ton of enemies that are immune to bleed, and I was fed up of seeing that immune, 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 immune pop up, and there's no way to turn it off. So I got rid of Flay and I went with Frenzy and honestly it's so much better because you're getting that attack speed although Flay does the bleed um, and generates more it's so slow and I haven't figured out how to permanently change the weapons on the skill. Um, I know you can do it but I was trying to find I couldn't do it and I did it once used a faster weapon and then when I went to use this skill again it's flipped now I also just realized it says requires a slashing weapon so that may be what the problem was anyway so I went with frenzy and then enhanced frenzy and combat frenzy I came down here I had a good look at the skills I did whirlwind is what max roll suggest I went with upheaval because it's awesome um, and then enhanced upheaval and violent upheaval to give me that berserk and that b stacking berserk is oh berserk is awesome <laughs> I've said it a lot I'm going to say it again berserking is fantastic not only do you get the movement speed from berserking but that 25% increased damage is brilliant so I've stacked a lot of berserks throughout the build uh, we come down here into the defensive skills and I just took Rallying Cry, mainly for the movement speed, but also for that rage generation. We come into um, Enhanced Rallying Cry and Tactical Rallying Cry for uh, the Fury and an additional 50 times resource generation. Ta -da! And this is great because once we, if we get feared or anything like that, then we can still use our Rallying Cry and we no longer dying like I was on my rogue every time I got stunned I got very low if not died whereas with enhanced rallying and cry that doesn't happen so we then come down through here and we've picked up war cry uh, enhanced war cry for more berserking and power war cry um, because I only really use this in mobs and then in for bosses we do it for the damage and the berserk we also took uh, one point in aggressive resistance because I'm 
almost permanently in Berserk, unless I'm against a boss, to get that 4% damage reduction. And then we put one point in Prolific Fury. So when we're Berserking, we get even more Fury. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And then we came down here, we took Death Blow, we took Enhanced Death Blow, and then we took Warrior's Death Blow. If Death Blow damages at least one enemy, we gain Berserk. So we're Berserking all the time. Um, so that's it. That's where we did with all our points. Uh, like I said, we're level 20 plus two points, renown, two renown points I've got. I calculated it. So that's all the abilities. As for the gear, uh, now some of this gear has dropped through the character experience, but about 10 minutes before I started this video, I spent there in my Iranian obols and tried to generate legendaries all over the place. Um, so I'm, I'm stacked with legendaries, but half of them are no good for my build. I just wanted to look at all the nice shiny orange ones. So we have a look at this one first. I've put in a ruby to gain 5.5% max life. Um, we've got plus one rank to death blow here, some fury, intelligence, and some willpower. And then we've got that damage reduction for bleed, but I don't bleed, so it's the, the legendary power is completely pointless. I didn't want to get into the crafting. I really want to get back onto this story character. And as I said, there's uh, less than 24 hours to play, and I've got some IR IRL stuff to take care of tomorrow, which is going to knock out at least three hours, and I need to sleep as well. So it's going to be a bit tight if I can get through the entire main quest line in a, in a story arc mode. On to the chest armor. Again, we don't have challenge and shout, but the all stats is quite nice. We've got ground stomp as well, which we don't have, and iron skin, again, don't use that either. On to the gauntlets, we've got this here, which is rend, whirlwind, but it's got plus one to upheaval, so that's kind of awesome, and nine decks, meh, 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 and bleed. So <laughs> I think the legendaries really want me to go bleed. Um, and then we got to the pants, which is each point of fury generated while at maximum fury gains 1.2 fortify, which is great for bosses because uh, you just go above and beyond using because fury generates so much um, rage. I think it's rage, fury. Sorry, not rage. Ugh. So much fury that you, before you know it, you've got fortify, and I had up to like 300 points of fortify. It was pretty good against a boss so that's kind of helpful um, we got these boots uh, again minus 4.5 fury construction some stats damage enemy with the core skill has 40% chance to extend the duration of berserking we double this chance if it's a crit strike love that berserk got a rare hammer me picked up from somewhere not too impressive it's got a I can't remember what that gem in there is, but as you can see, it's doing 16.7% basic skill damage. We've got our sword in here. Um, again, mostly lots of stuff and damage when we stand still. I've only just got this with the obols, but the only reason I can think of doing that is when we set up for our boss kill when we've got maximum fury. We then hit two, um, we hit our uh, war cry. And then we spam upheaval, and then we hit rallying cry, spam upheaval, and then we hit um, by that point. Sorry, you hit death blow to get the damage bonus and berserk. Then you hit war cry to get more berserk. Then you hit upheaval because you're at max for uh, fury. We spam one frenzy to get attack speed. Hit rallying cry, two more for frenzy to get frenzy up to max, and then upheaval again. And the boss is almost dead. So. But all of that, if you can pull off that rotation and the boss hasn't moved, you're standing still, so you get the 30% extra bonus. It's the only thing I can think that would be useful for. I'm not going to use it because this is the end of the line for the barb. Um, and then we've got this mace as well. Nothing too great. Oh, hello, Mr. Character. Um, and then finally, we've got our two-handed slashing sword. Which again, Hammer of the Ancients, we're not using, so it's a pointless power. On to the jewellery. We've got this amulet here, which is the bubble, which is brilliant. And plus one of all brawling skills, and plus one to all weapon mastery skills. I'm not sure either of those are good, but I haven't 
looked really to be fair I've just got plus ones all over the place four fury per second while berserking again get that fury up get that fury above max and get that fortify absolutely brilliant and then this one shout skills generate 2.5 fury per second while active so again stacking that fury getting it up getting that to fortify able to spam the upheaval and everything's dying I love Barb um, I'm not sure if nothing much changes before the um, actual release it is going to be a toss-up whether I go Rogue or Barb as my main uh, but we will have to see how it released and we'll watch the news and everything like that let's do a quick uh, gameplay let me just untrack that skill that we can't do there we go right let's just get out into the world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just turn off it's getting in the way there we go so I keep thinking there's an event there so I'm spamming tab but there's not I'm not sure there might there might be an event around if not I'll just have to do the uh, rotation on some mobs they won't survive but there I go You can't see the MTX I've done on the character because the zoom in doesn't work too well. But um, I've got some boots on here, furline boots. I'm wearing a kilt. I've got nothing on my. Oh yes, I have. I've got like a a furlined crossover weapon harness, and I've got this iron helm, all greened out, and then I've got this big hammer, uh, the big claymore on my back, and then the uh, kind of bludgeony mace there and the one-handed broadsword all going for a Scottish theme on the barb is the plan um, I can go up and see what that quest is maybe that will give us some decent gameplay I've only just done this dungeon to get up to level 20 otherwise I'd uh, run part way to I don't know why I did that it's completely pointless Let's go up to this quest, see if it's uh, uh, something that will give us a lots of enemies. Uh, skip. What do we got to do? Enter the hollowed... Oh, there we go. Oh, there's an event. Let's go and do the event. Right, so here we just use our fury to get some skills, some uh, berserky stuff. And then we come down here, we use death blow, which resets because we killed something. That didn't kill it, unfortunately, so we just fury, fury, fury. And there we go, we can see the fortify coming up at the bottom of the health bar there. Oh, this is going to be an awesome test. Right, there we go. Right, we're going to stand in the center here. We'll go over here and upheaval. There we go, they're all dead. <laughs> there goes the bubble. All these vampire bats could be killed with death blow, but spamming it one by one is a bit of a pain. I tried it in a dungeon, it just takes so long. It's easier just to use um, Frenzy to get the fury up. Right, we'll shout out now. Shout out that one. We death blow for the berserk and the extra damage, and then we upheaval, upheaval, take a potion. Whoops, it ain't. There we go, that's that one done. We death blow that one, pick up our potion and move into the next shrine. We've got loads and loads of um, creatures. Whoops, stand in the right place so I can hit. There we go. Because these are all undead, if I was using Flay, um, I'd be spamming so much of immune, immune, immune because um, the undead are immune to bleed. And it's just annoying. Oh! The gameplay is going to be spoiled now by that other player, but never mind. You can basically see how the get, uh, how the progress on the barb works. There comes the thing. I mean, there we go. Get that up and running. That's that dead. I've got a diamond there. Pick that up. Frenzy this guy down. We'll get death blow. Will it kill it? Oh, no, but upheaval will. There we go some more oblongs right let's get back to town I'm not going to go and do the quest so there we go that's the barb player how I've built it 
if I had if I went to level 25 in this beta if I had the time and or the drive to do that uh, then I would finish off getting oh come on there we go come on let me move thank you um, I would put more points into um, here two more points into pro prolific fury which would then unlock down here and I would probably go wrath I know a lot of people are going call for the ancients but I would rather go for wrath because of the berserking the berserking is just awesome yeah I'd, I'd, I'd go wrath for uh, 1, 2, so that's what it would be 21, 22, 23 24 25 that's how I would do it. I would, I would, I'd put two more in um, Prolific Fury to get the f uh, re regeneration back, and then just go straight down for the whole Wrath, Wrath Berserker, Prime Wrath of Berserker, and Supreme Wrath of Berserker. That's how I'd do it if I was taking this character as is to 25. I'd go and do spam loads of dungeons, um, probably get some obols. Or, oh, no, I'm not sure I can get any more because I've done most of the side quests now. But aim to get legendary powers and then do some major crafting to get um, all the legendary powers on rares. Or, you know, just uh, maybe put an aspect on one of them. Let's sell that and we'll put that in the thing. So anyway, that's my overview of the Barb. I think Barb is, uh, for me personally... If I'd expect the character correctly from the beginning, I think Barb would be my favourite character, even though it doesn't have its class specific quest. It has been, after I did the respec at 14 and a half, it's been an absolute joy to play. It has been so easy. I've not had a single problem with anything other than the butcher that spawned on top of me. And, you know, I. I doesn't matter what I've done it on the rogue I've done it on the sorcerer and I've done it on this barb and it doesn't matter what I do that butcher is a pain to take down as a solo character I haven't done a world boss on the berserk on the barb either one hasn't spawned when I've been playing it um, at a relevant level I was level 7 when one spawned I just went and did it on my rogue um, so yeah that's my overview of the barb I think it's brilliant I think, for me personally, Sorcerer is the worst of the three, but maybe that's just my bias. Anyway, hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.